You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, good morning to you. Welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And I'm Rob, and this is episode number 775. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Hope you're off to a great, great week. Definitely off to a great week. Thank you for everyone who has left us reviews, and you've been an avid listener to the show for a long time. And if you have liked the show and the information that you've gotten off this show, you've got to check out the Drone You community. It's the premier online training community for drone pilots across the world. Currently in 110 countries and currently have 29 classes available for you to take for one low monthly cost of $47. So if you like the show, you like the information you get on the show, imagine all of that organized, deeper level content to really help you, your workflow and your business. Or if you simply just wanna turn your passion into profit, you're in the right place. Maybe you just wanna be an avid enthusiast. You're in the right place. Check out droneu.education. All right, Rob, let's hear that question. Hey guys, this is Jared from Stillwater, Oklahoma. Appreciate what you guys are doing every day, working hard to educate the drone community. It's definitely helped me out. My question is, have you guys ever used air data to log your flights and have them uploaded automatically? And if you have, what are your thoughts on air data? Is that something that's useful for maintenance logs and also a way to make yourself look more credible um, when booking commercial projects? Thanks. Thank you very much, Jared, for getting your question in. And don't forget, guys, if you have a question, go to askdroneu.com and get yours in. And uh, my hunch is that somebody else is thinking what you're thinking, or you're going to help somebody learn something about something they weren't thinking. True. So take the time. True. Like, let me give you this quick little practical fact on why air data is a good thing to have. Um, I personally, I'm just going to caveat all this information with I am a data troll. I do not give my data to anybody. In college, we were all joking about Facebook's third party data stuff. And then now it comes to light like six, seven years later. So. I have never been a big fan of giving data out, but I want to give you I want to give you some solutions because you may be different about data than I am. I'm very very careful about my data. I don't give it out to anyone. But here's a good reason to have air data. Uh, number one, it definitely helps you understand um, the real world um, effects of your drone. So let's say that you've had it for a while, you've done a lot of flights, and you need to understand maintenance-wise where it is. Air data is a great thing to have. Air data is also a great thing to have if, for whatever reason, you had a flyaway, uh, you had something happen with your drone that you can't quite find it. It's showing you one position on the map, but the position that it actually landed was very different from the position it showed you on the map. That's only because of... Um, essentially what was logged versus what was shown in the application. So you can actually take your DJI login, log in to Air Data with that information, and it'll plot all the flights that you've had. It'll showcase your maintenance records. It'll showcase all the data that you could ever want to see on your drone. Um, and it'll also showcase a more real-time location of your drone the last time it was flown. So if you crashed it or landed it somewhere you weren't planning on and you're having difficulty finding it, uh, Air Data is one of the, the best uh, applications to have if you're having trouble finding your drone. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there. I think Air Data is an awesome thing. The caveat is, is that Air Data is still not able to aggregate and um, have all of the potential data uh, that you could ever want. Here's why. For a long time, I was flying my Inspire 1, uh, which Air Data would work with because it's part of the DJI uh, system. Um, but when I was flying my Inspire 1, I always flew it with a um, FlySight monitor on it. So I never used an application. I just liked the simplicity of the monitor uh, with infinite focus. I didn't really need a lot of the controls. Um, and I had my entire remote built the way that I needed to use it at the time. So... That being said, um, for a long time, none of my data was actually being collected and aggregated on the Inspire 1. So it's actually hard to know the exact number of flight hours, the exact number of flights and whatnot um, that it is actually 
had because none of that information is in the DJI Go application because I never use the app to actually fly the drone. I only use the FlySight monitor. So all of my data would not actually be available. And that's not a dig on air data. It's more so um, how you upload. Now I could take my logs from my drone and upload them to air data to find out that total number of hours on the Inspire one. Um, but in all honesty, um, for me, as far as credibility and authority is concerned, part of his question was, if I use air data, is it going to help me get clients? It could help you get clients if you go out of your way to show them that you have a maintenance log and you do these types of things and it shows that you're organized. Yes, but nine, eight to 10 out of clients are just not going to give a, a shiza. They're not going to care. about that? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, they really don't. Uh, that being said, there are some clients who, when you show them how organized you are and that you have this available to them, they're going to really like it. Uh, but for me, I am not really interested in giving Air Data my data. So there's that. And he's going through the team, by the way. Uh, he's on Air Data's website right now, going through everyone on the team. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, mostly run by old people. So when it's mostly run by old people, <laughs> I uh, ten, tend to give them the hairy eyebrow. So what Wait. do you really want with my data? Why am I paying you for you to have my data? So hmm. anyway. So all that good stuff and then pow. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I, I just, uh, I don't want anyone to have my data, so I don't share my stuff with anybody. So. Well, but in reality, doesn't, I mean, isn't your data on the, the Go app anyways? I mean, it's out there, right? Did you just listen to what I just said? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's still out there. Uh, some of it is. Some of it for sure is. But uh, as far as air data is concerned, if you're running a fleet of drones, this is by far some of the best uh, information that you could have on each drone, the health of the drone, how it's being flown, potential errors. It's a great way to stop check anyone who's working in your company. Um, but you've got to be careful in where your data is going. So you don't know where they keep their data. Why are you? P yeah. Okay. There's my two cents before I get crazy negative. So <laughs> yeah, anyway. we were, we're having such a good positive time here. Yeah. Let's keep it that way. Yeah. Sounds um, like there are some definite benefits to it. I caveated the whole thing with, I don't share my data right. with anybody. So yeah. there's that. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Well, I hope that's helpful. Hope that's helpful to helpful, helpful <laughs> to you, Jared, and anyone else who is wondering about air data, or maybe you're not even familiar with air data probably a lot of you out there, that would be the case. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Guys, if you are getting value out of this podcast, please let your friends know through sharing. We'd love to hear your reviews, whether it's iTunes, Stitcher, wherever you listen, those reviews are very important to us. We do listen to those and we do try to improve based on the reviews that you give us. So it's not a waste of your time when you do those things. And uh, spread the love. That's one of the best things that you can do for us. We do appreciate it, by the way. And we do appreciate those reviews. If you'd like more information and you want constant access to it, just go to DroneU.Education and sign up to become a member today. That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask DroneU. <laughs>